In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to calculate the freezing point of a solution. The question reads, calculate the freezing point of a 1.7 molal aqueous ethylene glycol solution. To do this problem, you'll need to know what molality is, and it's a comparison of the moles of solute, which in our case is ethylene glycol, to the mass of the solvent. And the symbol that we use is this letter M. In addition, you'll need to know the formula for freezing point depression, which is the change of the temperature is equal to the molality of the solute times a constant which is represented by K sub F. For water, that constant is 1.86 and the units as shown are Celsius per molal. So let's go ahead and figure this out. We have 1.7 M which will be substituted into there and we're also given the constant of 1.86. So delta T is equal to 1.7 multiply to 1.86. 1.86. Notice that if we multiply this number with 1.86, the molal unit will cancel out eventually, leaving us with Celsius. Using our calculator multiplying these two numbers, remember our answer needs to be to two significant figures, you should end up with approximately 3.162. And round it to two significant figures, 3.2. 3.2 degrees Celsius. Water freezes at zero degrees. So when we add ethylene glycol, we actually have to take this number and subtract it from zero degrees, which is the freezing point. By doing this, we're actually getting the freezing point when this solute is added. So the freezing point is actually negative 3.2. That's the answer to question number one. Let's move on to question two. Calculate the freezing point of a 2.6 molal aqueous sucrose solution. So this time sucrose is added to water. We'll use the exact same formula as before. I'll multiply 2.6 by 1.86. 2.6 times 1.86 gives us roughly 4.8, 4.8 degrees Celsius. And if I subtract this now from zero, the new freezing point is negative 4.8 degrees Celsius. And there you have it. That is how to calculate the freezing point of a solution.